guests we have today from the show. We have actor Asian Naomi King and executive producer, actor Brie Larson. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's kind of recovering. They just showed the episode two. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Don't worry, no dogs were harmed in the making of this, and no Lewis Pullman's either. Everyone's fine. Thank you so much for being here. This is an audience of your fellow SAG after actors. Uh, so I always like to start by asking, how did you get your SAG card? What was the, the job that brought that to you? <laughs> Must be a good one. No, I'm like literally like, oh God, that was so long ago. <laughs> Um, I think it must have been, I did an episode, I was living in New York, and I did an episode of Blue Blood. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the one with Donnie Wahlberg, right? Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it the, it's Tom Selleck, too, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, everyone's saying yes. Who <laughs> yeah. here has done Blue Bloods and Law and Order? <laughs> right, exactly. Did you ever yeah. do Law and Order? As no, a no, I never really? got to, I know, right? Oh. I wanted, really? I wanted that so bad. Like, I never got that job. <laughs> oh, okay. I Did wanted you know it well? so bad. I just fought her so many times. I was like too desperate because I wanted it so bad. I was so poor and I like loved that show. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be the body. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was such a thing. You know, it's, I just spoke to someone earlier this week who went out like 20 times and never got on any of them. It was Paul Giamatti. Really? You could not get arrested yeah. on Law Order, literally. Yeah. <laughs> it really was one of those things. Because like, you got paid really well for those, really? you know? Like, those guest star roles were like, yeah. it was really important. And I never did it. Oh. Oh, actually, one time I did Ghost Whisperer. I did Ghost Whisperer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I won't talk about it because it's a good one. <laughs> Well, I I think they should do an all star special on get you and Paul in to be the murderers. Amazing! Yeah. Oh yeah, that was down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be the twist. Picture the killer. Yes. Uh, you know the killer is always like the janitor in the background mm -hmm. watching them interrogate. So that that'll have to be you. Um, again, uh, you may not have gotten Law and Order, but you have this wonderful show, Lessons in Chemistry. And as someone who's a fan of the book, I just want to say thank you for not messing it up. You know, you, no, you yeah, worry yeah, <laughs> when you love something. Uh, yeah, I worry probably the most. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you were a fan of the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was given the book, I think about two years before it came out, which, you know, I guess in hindsight, it made it a little bit easier because I didn't have the pressure of what I know now, which is how beloved the book is. But it did mean that when the book became quite successful, we pretty much finished the show, right? I think we were done filming. Oh, and so it was like, oh no, I hope we made the right choices. <laughs> <laughs> this time it was weird. Um, but it's worked out great. It's worked out really well. And um, so, yeah, we're very proud. When you were reading it, did you immediately start thinking as an actor or a producer, like, this is a great project I want to be involved with? Um, I think it was it was both from the beginning. And, yeah, it was both from the beginning. It's also just... Um, how do I do it? Uh, like, um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. Producing and acting for me when I'm doing it at the same time, they're, they are the same thing in a way. It's just a way of, and it's an extension of what I'm already doing. Um, it just gives me a title that makes people feel more comfortable for all the questions that I ask. <laughs> it's really just how I see it. Um, and especially when you're carrying a character through, it's just, to me, it always felt so strange. Like, if you watch a great... Um, sports team and you see like the the quarterback for example you don't assume that they're going to be playing by themselves they all train together and I feel like with actors a lot of the time we're just not known we don't know what's going on until we get to set mm -hmm. but everybody else in the crew has had a lot of time to talk to explain things and then I feel like I'm playing catch up and I want to be the best teammate I possibly can be and I can't do that unless I know what everybody else is trying to do. And I feel like it's a it's a way of honoring all the craftsmen and all the different jobs, which is so important to me. Yeah. And I think it makes for just like a nicer onset environment. And it also just allows me to really expand and understand who this character is. Absolutely. And were you at all familiar with the book? Because your character is very different from in the book, starting with like 30 years younger, I want to <laughs> say. I mean, I think, well, yes, I was familiar with the book. Well, once I heard about the project then I, became familiar gotcha. with the book, yes. as, as we do. <laughs> um, and I was going to say, like, yes, on the outside, my character's different than than the Harriet from the book, but really, the essence of it is really the same, you know? Like, that person that Elizabeth becomes close to and the community that they build together, 
really helping each other raise each other's families and and just like that kind of sacred space that mothers and parents and I mean I think all human beings really need to connect with someone who can understand intimately what they're going through um, like it serves that same purpose which was really magnificent and he did such a beautiful job of just expanding the world and creating that nuance around what was happening in that time period. I'm like, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, I just wanna do it. I'm like, oh my god! I don't know. You're just amazing. I don't know. You're amazing. Yeah. Like, talk oh. about like walking into a space and just feeling like just yeah. so like loved immediately. Like, I love you. Oh <laughs> Sometimes you can make great scenes, but it doesn't mean that you understand like the depth. And sometimes there's just times where you're like, whoa, like there's something deep underneath this that we know. And oh, I'm getting chills, weird. Ooh, actors, you know? And it's just very special when that happens because you can't know yeah. until it happens. I actually wanted to ask about that because the two of you have such a great rapport. I'm trying not to say chemistry <laughs> on screen. I was like, what's another word? Quick thesaurus. Um, and uh, I don't, I mean, you're both such accomplished actors. I don't know if, if there was any kind of a screen test you did together or you met or anything, or that just develops when you cast good actors. Yeah, no, there yeah. was nothing. I mean, what do you do if the, if the chemistry is not there? Is that when the acting kind of comes in? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> well, it's like, you don't count on that. You count on, you know, just being there and listening. Um, but then when something else happens, you're like, oh my gosh. And it's just so special because it goes beyond space and time. You know, there's just a couple of actors I have, like, in my pocket that if I run into them, it's like, it's just known, like, something was shared. And it doesn't mean I know every detail of their life, but, like, something profound happened. And it's the thing that I, I perhaps love the most about my job yeah. is, like, the amount of extended eye contact that I get to have with really beautiful people, like, beautiful souls. Yeah, yeah. She's also a really beautiful person, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but it's like both of those things it's just remarkable it's just such a gift i just don't know how much in our lives you know if you're out in the world you're not really like staring at people it's kind of weird to do but like our job is that we get to like look at and respond to and like commune with one another mm -hmm. and that is just i can't believe that's my job it's just amazing well and also you know as a, as a very good director and, and producer you've been on the other side of casting so you know you know and you know what it's like having auditioned for things. Um, how involved were you in shaping this cast? Oh, I mean, very much okay. so. I mean, I was very much a part of this whole thing and it was such a joyful experience. Um, because I mean, part of this, as I was saying before, is that it was a sort of an experiment of like, what if we take this and we, we make it that it's not cast and crew, we're all together and everybody's gonna work together. And you know, there's a lot of games that we play on set. Like I'd always have like a game table. There was a lot of, things that were happening where it felt like joyous because the work can be hard. And I also think on top of it, we're away from our friends, we're away from our family. It's really long hours. And so if this is what we're gonna be dedicating our time to, it should be soulful and, and that matters to me. And so, I don't know, for me, it was just, it was long days and hard work, of course, because that's actually what I like. Yeah. I find that pleasurable, but I was with incredible people the whole time. And that felt like, that felt like the experiment worked. Uh, can I ask what kind of games and who was best at Scrabble? I was, I was what is, because I bought this game for everyone in my family, the one with all the matching. Spot it? Yes. What is it? Spot it. Oh, Spot I love it. Spotted. I didn't yeah. even know this game existed. And so, and she was like dealing the cards and I like flipped them over. She's like, you can't look at them yet. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it, got, it got serious real quick. Like, all right, we're really going to play this game right now. <laughs> And Alice was so good at it. Oh yeah, Alice, oh, little really? Alice was amazing, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, you'd have to kind of like hold her back because yeah. she'd get so cold, close to me. I was like, whoa, 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 this is against regulation. Oh, yeah. Is this the one with the Dalmatians? Because oh. they have a version. Oh, yeah, there is a little puppy. Yeah, yeah, there is a little puppy. There is a little and puppy. Also have themed versions yes. of it. Yeah, it's yeah. a great. Well, game. I made a custom one too, so we were playing that. Did you, you not get made that? It? I did not know that it was. Rebecca. You, you made it. <laughs> no, we have extras. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you must have not been there but when it was all finished. Oh, yeah, no, there's a custom I'm, one. I'm Don't you sure. worry. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this whole cast is so amazing. And, and you and Lewis Pullman, it's just so fantastic. Um, for that, in that case, was there a chemistry read? Or again, is it just no. really? Wow. No. I know. And it's crazy looking back on it because 
it was stressful. Like that, yeah. I mean, not stressful once we got on set, but like it was stressful to think about because, I mean, you saw it. It's like the show, the rest of the show kind of begins and takes off after that. And when you're talking about love, which was a huge part of why I wanted to do this was because I feel like love representation is beautiful and complicated and no one really knows what it is. It's like this ephemeral thing. And so to try and talk about it artistically and to figure out like, how will people know? And it was also a part while we were filming it that I kept going like, I have no idea. You know, it's like, I hope this lands. And I think it's just so, so sweet. Yeah. And yeah, and I, and it doesn't, yeah, again, the show wouldn't work without it. He's so, so perfect. It's like they cooked him up in a lab somewhere. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, Paul James as, as Charlie is wonderful. I love your scenes together. So, like, and Paul and I met the, I mean, yeah, this is not in this episode, but the day that our characters are reunited was the first day wow. that we met. And it was perfect. It was so perfect. Cause it's like, yeah, it's the kind of thing where you just energetically vibe with someone immediately. Like, I just think when you're around great artists and everyone has like kind of the, that same desire to like create something kind of magical and has that like openness and willingness and is excited to work on something that they think is great. Like everyone's just so on the same page. It really felt like a team. Mm -hmm. And I, I really have to give it up to you especially because you allowed all of us so much ownership over our characters. Like she would turn to me and be like, does this feel real to you? Does this feel right? I will talk to them right now. But like, it was that kind of thing where I just like felt like, oh wow, like she's really like saying, this is mine. Like I can, I can like make sure that this feels real and, and perfect in, in the way that we always want to make things kind of perfect for ourselves while working on something. And that was just invaluable yeah. coming coming into this space. And so, yeah, long long story short, uh, Paul and I have great chemistry as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, there's this old stupid saying about like you shouldn't work with animals or children, but you have both in this, and they're fantastic. Um, where did you find this young actor who plays Madeline? <laughs> Again, auditioned. Really? Yeah, auditioned, and. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. Again, like to your point of like cooking it up in a lab, it was just like another thing. That to me is like the next key moment where it's like, okay, like this really needs to work. This is a key relationship that kind of propels us through the next yes. of it. And um, she might be, I mean, she's truly one of my favorite people on this planet. Yeah. Um, and she might be one of the closest people to me, like in terms of our personality, um, it's so spot on. We had the best time. She speaks French too. We just be like, bah, 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 bah. like it was just nonstop. And um, I still talk with her all the time. She's just her and her family are absolutely brilliant. So we just, I don't know. There was something that was happening with this show. Yeah. I don't know how that worked, but it was like we just got all the right people at the right time, and everything just kind of cleared out to just make it exactly what it was meant to be. In the beginning, do you think she was intimidated by you at all? I mean, you're Alice? Yeah, you're a superhero. I don't know if she knew. What? Come on. I honestly don't know if she did. I'll ask her. Really? It certainly didn't feel like it. I mean, it was her first job ever. So, what? yep. It was her first job ever. Um, and so I think she was a bit like getting used to it, but she's such a professional. She's so on it. Oh my gosh, there's also, oh yeah, if you haven't watched the rest of it, I'm not going to say. Yeah. But she did, there was a lot of things that were first, and I would be like, how did you figure out how to do that? And yeah. she's like, oh, well, I came up with my own technique over the weekend, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, interesting, I didn't go to school for this, can you help me out? Yeah. It was incredible. She's incredible. She's yeah. brilliant. She's brilliant. brilliant. Really smart. Yeah. I mean, the other thing about acting opposite kids is I find that they, they kind of can't lie. They're, they're very honest in the moment. So I was actually going to ask if, there, if there's things that you both are still learning about acting, even to this day. Yeah. I mean, I, I look at my own small child and I'm like, he cries on cue like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah. Just like Meryl Streep could never. <laughs> but just, yeah, kids, like everything is right at their fingertips because there's there's no uh mm -hmm. there's no fluff like just what they truly desire it's all right there and we have to talk about 630 who uh, i don't know if there was more than one 630 or just the one okay so a little silly but how do you go about you know casting the right dog <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that was a conversation so i've had some people be like that's not a period appropriate dog now and i'll say 
I hear you. However, I'm slightly allergic to dogs, and so it was something that I needed, so sorry. He's also really cute, it's okay. Um, but he was basically like a puppy, and was uh, this trainer trained him so that he could, you know, be ready to, to hit his marks and do his things. His name's Gus. He's such a sweetheart. Um, and again, just, I just remember getting the first email that was like, okay, I think this is our 630, and I can just so you know, um, Louise, one of our producers, was like, this dog is not for sale. And I was like, okay, I don't care. You know, I don't know, whatever. And then I like looked at it and I was like, I want him! And, she's like, and as I said in the previous email, this dog is not for sale. And I was like, oh gosh, you've done this before, haven't you? You bring a puppy to sit, and I was like, it's mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these roles, you know, they span several years, and in different time periods that are long before either of you were alive. I'm curious how you went about preparing for them and, and, and you know, sort of in that research, it's, it's so interesting watching the show and thinking, gosh, you know, times have really changed, but also not. Um, was that something you were very aware of in, in, in you know, preparing for these parts? Mm -hmm, of course. Yeah, um, it really helped me because they brought on a, a cultural consultant for the show as well. Uh, and, oh, she was phenomenal. And she, especially with my character's storyline, like the logistics around like the, the racially restrictive covenants and, and you know, everything that my character is fighting for. Uh, she just gave such uh, such context around what was happening legally for black people in these neighborhoods and, and historically what that was so that I could just dive in for, into the information and understand like what the stakes were and what was going on, especially in that period of time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had, I mean, we had many different consultants because there's things, there's a shame, saying that are from different periods of time and also just different fields. Like there's a certain level of chemistry that is beyond what I could possibly comprehend in two years of what prep for this, you know? Yeah. It's just, she's brilliant beyond. And it was like the first time for me where I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to master this in time for the show. Um, and so we had a lot of really incredible people, some that were on set all the time, especially with certain key scenes. Um, and we really just leaned on them and their expertise in this. And it just, we just lucked out with that too. Like we just had really wonderful collaborative people. Um, and it felt really nice to be able to, um, you know, to honor the truth yeah. that's in this. And obviously we're telling a fictional story, but to have these moments, I think, of, of real truth so that people that, um, were around at that period of time, had experienced these things, or even have a, a lover of chemistry, could feel like it was being respected. We don't see too much of it in, in episode two, but what about the cocaine? Because this show made me so, like that's, there's so many reasons I could never act or play a role, but I can't cook to save my life. And uh, you pull it off very believably. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm very comfortable in the kitchen, so okay. that part was fine. Um, it was the part that my friends and family were like, I hope you never stop prepping for this show. Because <laughs> like, I was just baking and cooking all the time. Um, and also my best friend was the, did all the food styling. No way. And, yeah, Courtney McBroom. So it was really fun getting to getting to collaborate with her and work with her. And uh, I mean, the food is another character. Yeah, yeah really. really. Yeah, yeah, it's another way of explaining her and... So it was really important that got, we got it right. It looks great, but I know that you know you usually can't eat the food on set, but mm, you no, can eat this? No, you totally can. Totally could. Oh yeah, yeah, we always eat everything, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, this is a dream set. <laughs> I am curious, you know, you can put in all this preparation and research and then you actually get to set and you have these amaz amazing sets, this hair and makeup and these costumes. How much does that help you as an actor to like lock the character into place? Immensely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I I feel like we all know this, right? It's like you're you're working on a character, but it's not until like you're in that period underwear and the outfit and have the hair that you're like, oh wow, like I'm really in this world now and it's such a grounding experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean for me I was living in it for so many days that at one point I got like a little confused and I was like <laughs> I remember just like laying on the floor of the soundstage and I was like, my name is Bree and it's 2022 and we are in downtown Los Angeles. And I just like had to do that from time to time because I hadn't really ever experienced something so immersive. Mm -hmm. Even doing Marvel things, there's there's a limit to the immersion that you're in. Um, and so I just felt yeah. confused. Um, and I would like purposely on weekends do things that were just totally different. Oh, yeah. Just to remind myself that like, no, like, I have, like, a, a cell phone, right. you know? And, like, 
my name's not Elizabeth. Because you just have people saying Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. And you're like, no, someone needs to just call me Brie like 14 times and I need to like watch reality TV and just be back in that anchor. <laughs> Wait, what's your reality go to? Oh, it switches, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. I think I'm back on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> you know, I kind of looked back, I gotta say. I took a little break. I'm back. So, thank you for that. Do those ever work out? Because I've never actually Oh, seen yeah, that. sometimes they do. Yeah. Totally, yeah. sometimes they do. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Did you get into Golden Bachelor? Because I did. I, I didn't finish it. Please don't spoil it. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm dying to tell you. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Um, yeah, okay. And Squiggy in the challenge, by the way. I haven't watched that yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I really am curious about is, is how did you not steal some of those outfits? They are amazing. Mm. Oh, no. Did you steal anything? No, 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 no. It's not a producer. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I took anything. I mean, no, I don't think I did. Um, you know what? It's one of those things yeah. that, like, at the beginning of a shoot, you're like, "Ooh, I want this. Ooh, I want that." And then by the end of it, you're like, "And thank you." Yes. You know, it's like I'm, I'm okay. Never I actually, again. this thing that felt sentimental, I actually don't want to see yeah. again. You know, so I think that was kind of where it landed for me. And it's also just like the rush of the end. It's like suddenly you're behind and trying to figure out all these things, and you don't remember yeah. to like, I don't know, pocket a pair of shoes or something. <laughs> And I, it, since I assume you're you're not shooting chronologically, how do you as actors sort of keep track of, of where your character is on their journey when you know you're shooting in like it's probably in the same day you shot different years, totally different places in these characters' lives. I don't know if you have like a, a hack. I actually feel like I was shooting chronologically. Really? I think for me, it did kind of land in that way. I... After me. <laughs> <laughs> Super yeah. I feel like I was living like, in like I a horrible lovely experience. Shoot me <laughs> No, I, I mean I it took me a minute to get used to the pace, but then I ended up finding it really valuable because everything's moving so fast with TV that you don't have time to linger on it. Yeah. And so you're just changing the fantasy, changing the fantasy, changing the fantasy. And I just remember being like, I'm at UCLA. I'm at Christmas. Wow. I'm at home. Where am I? You know, I was just kind of going through. And, you know, there are times, especially with the science dialogue, where maybe it would be a little harder for me, you know, doing like two pages of talking about primidines and purines was like hard sometimes. And I get a little frustrated, you know, it's like, oh, I can't remember this. And you'll be like, well, you know, it's been a 10 hour day and it's okay, you know. And, but then that scene would finish and you're immediately changing your clothes and then you're into something else. And I liked the fact that I didn't have time to sit and like beat yeah. myself up or to think that much about it. It's like, okay, new game, like a whole new thing. And like, usually a new actor. It's like, okay, now, now Asia's here. I'm not gonna be like, oh, yeah, thanks. Welcome to set. So that last scene was bad, you know? You just come in, you're like, great, amazing. What's happening next? And it just, for me, it brought on this sense of like, bring it. Yeah. Okay, that was my best, next. And I love that you still found time to play Spotted. That's, that's always, always. always. Um, well, I want to remind everyone, first of all, please join us for a reception across the hall. Um, but all episodes of this show are now online, and I highly recommend you do what I did and just binge it all at once for like eight hours straight <laughs> and then have a really good cry. So like um, but you know what I actually want to point out? This, this show is very joyous. I know we, we saw one that has a sad ending, but it's very uplifting and it will leave you with a warm feeling, even in my black, cold heart. Uh, <laughs> but again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.